welcome to day four of our cleaning challenge. If you are still going strong, I salute your dedication to the cause. I'm hoping that if we all stick to this 30 day cleaning with Hayley challenge, that by the end of it, it is gonna do wonderful things, not only for our minds and our overall well-being, but for the cleanliness and organisation within our homes. Today we are doing a whole house dust. We started off lightly to get into the swing of things, but now it's time to dive in to the dust. Dusting is a chore that many of us hate doing, me included. I hate it, it is one of my worst chores to do. However, it is a chore that does need doing because dust, is not gonna up and leave anytime soon. It's packed several suitcases, it's making its home within your house, and the only way you are gonna get it to exit to the left is by us keeping on top of it and removing it with our vacuum. A study carried out on dust hinted to the fact that exposure to contaminants in dust could be implicated in weight gain. The lab found that flame retardants will bind to a human cell receptor that triggers fat storage in human cells. When testing human cells in the lab, the extracts of dust at levels that a child might be exposed to, the scientists observe activation of these receptors about 50% of the time, suggesting the dust extracts may increase weight gain. Honey, if we are not ready to dust our peaches off after hearing that, then I don't know what else to tell y'all. For this task, we are going to be using our vacuum cleaners with a dust attachment and a damp microfiber cloth. You can just use water on the cloth, you can use a disinfectant if you want, or you can use dish soap. Take your pick. Okay guys, let's pick up our cleaning tools and get dusting. We are going to be like the Hunger Games. Our opponent is the dust. We're going to wipe it out and we're going to reign triumphant. Find the catness in you. When it comes to dusting, the best method is to start from the top and work your way down. So you're going to start at one edge of the room and you're going to go all around the top of the room and you're going to go from one side of the room to the other. This ensures that you are not missing any of the dust because we all know dust is sneaky and it likes to hide in different places and you're literally like I said going to start in the corner. This will get rid of any cobwebs. I can see already up there that we have got cobwebs and that is not what we want. That is going to attract dust and we just don't want it in our homes guys. room you're going to go back to your starting point you should work your way back around each time don't worry this is quicker than you might think it is from watching this vlog it doesn't take long at all but this is the most efficient way of getting rid of lots of dust within your home now we've done the top section we're going to now start focusing on the bits that are lower down so things like tops of frames these will need dusting they will get dusty let me run my finger over it and see See? Dust. Yes, no, anybody? Dust. Any doors, we're then going to dust 
the tops of the door frames. These are notoriously missed when it comes to dusting, but they do hold lots of dust. So just give it a quick going over with your vacuum. This will remove any dust and it will help our wastes, allegedly. <laughs> the tops of our rooms we can then go ahead and move to the central location of the room and take down our lampshades these are really really easy to clean again they just need a quick going over with your dust attachment on your vacuum that will grab any dust that is sitting on them and then you can pop it back up where it belongs the same method will apply for whatever lampshade you have. My ones in the living room are paper, but if you have different types of lampshades, you can do exactly the same. Just run your dust attachment over them. If you wanna polish them at the same time, then fill your boots, do that as well, but it isn't necessarily required for this vlog. This vlog, we are literally removing the dust. <laughs> level dusting so these are things like blinds if you have them and any kind of um, surface area that you have that needs dusting so cabinets this is going to include window seals as well we're going to dust all of these parts now first off we're going to start with the blinds because I have them if you don't have blinds don't worry you can skip this step and move on to the next process with us all <laughs> the dust back up in the air this is then going to settle somewhere else in your home making your life a lot harder remember team we want to be cleaning smarter not harder for this I am going to be just putting a cap full of sephora in but this is absolutely not necessary if you choose not to you can go ahead and just use uh, water on its own or you can use um, dish soap whatever preference you have then go with that and I'm just going to put a clean microfiber cloth into the water and I'm going to squeeze it out so it is just damp and this is what we are going to be wiping down our surface areas with in the living room and the rest of the house. start at one end of the skirting boards and we're going to work our way the whole way around the room getting any dust that is lingering on the skirting boards and let me tell you now my skirting boards 
Oh boy, they are crying for a dust. They're like, please God, dust us now. Why is she slacking on the dusting of the skirting boards? method is the same method you are going to use throughout each room within your home. Keep up the momentum because once you have finished doing all of your dusting, you my friends are going to join me in feeling oh so accomplished. I feel like I want a medal or like a gold star at least, a gold sticker. Have you got any Robbie? Because if you have, hand them over because I have just dusted the whole house. Thanks so much for watching today's 30 day cleaning challenge with yours truly, it is me, Hayley's help. I hope you guys are enjoying the challenge so far. I hope you're feeling accomplished. I hope your minds are feeling good. And I hope you have got a whole load of positive energy coming into your world. If you are enjoying the cleaning vlogs, go ahead and share them with your friends and family because we love to have new people join. For those of you that are newly subscribed here, thank you so much. Mwah! And come back again tomorrow for day five of the 30 day cleaning challenge. Bye guys, love ya! <laughs>